All right, so it's a parabola. The vertex at four three. So then, and the next there is another point at two negative five, and it's opening down then. And so yeah, for the point, the vertex. That gives you all of this part. Four to the right, three up. And then my preferred way for finding what goes out here is let's just, we'll say we don't know what goes out there. I'll call it some other variable. And then we know that it's a parabola, so it's like y equals. But now we know this other point. So for this other point, the two goes in here for the X and the negative five, that's like a Y, right? So you put that in here. This is a really good question, by the way, because it's like two minus four here, negative two squared, right? So this would, hello. What's going on? Lost my draw. Two minus four squared plus three. So I've got negative five. The A, that would be negative two squared, which is four. And this plus three. So how do I solve for A? We subtract that over to that other side. All right, I agree. So negative eight equals four A divided by the four. So A is negative two in this, in my case. So again, the whole process again, vertex, yep, put that in these two spots. Just put a variable out in front of here. They usually use A, but there's no reason it couldn't be something else. I wouldn't use X and Y since you already have X and Y in the problem. Then your other point, put your X value in, put your Y value in, and then keep working it till you've done all everything down to solve for that variable A. Because once you put your X and Y numbers in, the only variable you have is an A in the equation. And then once you take that number right there and you put that, in this case, negative two, right here, that equation that you have at that point becomes your answer. So mine would have been y equals negative two to x minus four squared plus three. Should we do yours? I'd be happy to do it with you just up here. Okay. That way we can clear. All the rings. So your vertex was? Uh, two, and two. two, two. And then the other point was? One and negative two. All right. So how'd you start it out? Uh, Good. Awesome. And then what did we say we were going to do after that with these? Beautiful. Awesome. Now we just can't mess up the arithmetic. <laughs> That's sometimes the hardest part. So one minus two would be negative one. Squared would be one. Is that right? One minus two, negative one. Squared would be just one. Plus this two. What are you going to get for your A? What are you thinking? Do I divide that? No, this, how do you undo adding two? 
So when I undo a plus two with either a minus two or a negative two, what am I going to end up with over there? Right, I'm going to do a, this arrow means I'm subtracting two. I get three. So then what am I going to do? Put that right there. Once you have that in there, hopefully it says that's right. Otherwise, Mr. Guyman messed it up again. The process is right, but I never guarantee my arithmetic. Okay, great question. So 1.2.13. I'm glad to have that as an example I can put out there. Thank you. <laughs>